Welcome back to the channel. Um, sorry about the road noise, but it's Sunday afternoon and I've just been called out to no electrics at the property. Um, I've done my best to talk over the phone and discuss what <laughs> what to check and what not to check. Uh, she sent me some photos and it's um, all RCDs are on, all MCBs are on. If I can be caught the tripping on the step. And so hopefully we can get that sorted. Beyond the van. Okay, so I'm in the van now. Uh, like I said, a customer's rang me and she's got no power at the property whatsoever. That's the dash cam. Um, no power at the, at the consumer unit whatsoever. All our CDs are on, all circuit breakers are on. I've tried to talk to her about having a look to see if there's anything by the meter cupboard, but she doesn't seem to be too interested in looking herself. I think she just wants me to come out, excuse me, and check everything safe and sound. So. Okay, so I've just opened up service, mate. The customer's been quoted. I'm now heading there. I've raised the job in service, mate, and I've also just notified the client I'm on my way all through service, mate. Now they can track me, so it gives them an ETA, so they'll get an ETA of six or seven minutes. This is literally around the corner from my house, which is lovely. Um, but I've not discussed with the client if I can record, so it might be a bit awkward in that sense, but I'll try and get as much info and details as possible. Um, yeah, I won't just turn off the front door pointing a camera in her face. Um, but let, let's see what it is and see what we can get sorted for her. Uh, I mean, so, I, I, we do do call outs. Unfortunately, it's fell on my weekend. But I always like, I don't, the problem with the weekend call out, it's very, it's very expensive. Um, some people don't mind, they just want to pay and get their, their problem sorted, which is fine. But I always feel guilty, and I don't know why, because I've lit my, my wife and my family are now sat around the table eating dinner together, and, and I've left them. Um, it's like, well, what price is that? How much do you put on that? Uh, I've got a very supportive wife <laughs> and family, etc. So that's not an issue. But sometimes it just makes you feel a bit rubbish disappearing. Right, here I am. Okay, so I'm going to go in the property. I'll try and get some footage. Obviously, I can't point the camera in the face, but let's see what's going on. So, we've got no power whatsoever. Apparently, the neighbour's house has got power. Yeah. So that'll be interesting. So the first thing I checked was that we had power coming into the meter, which we did. I was a little bit surprised because I was expecting there to be no power due to a power cut or the main fuse being blown, to be honest. So the next point of call was to check that we had power coming into the board. So I got my voltage indicator and checked we had power between the live terminals and the earth and neutral, which we did. We had 240 volts coming in. So the supply was fine. So with the main switch off, I removed the buzz bar cover as I wanted to get access to the terminal on the main switch. because I wanted to see if we had power coming through the main switch and see if that was the issue. For whatever reason, this switch isn't letting power through. So with the switch in the on position, there was no power coming through the switch to the buzz bar, which is indicating there's a faulty switch. So the next point of call was to remove the switch and carry out a functional test on it. I'm not really sure what I was looking for here, but I just stuck my face right in there and had a good look anyway. Unfortunately, the battery on the camera died at this point, which is a shame because we could have recorded the DNO pulling the fuse, but we didn't manage to catch him. Um, the lesser spotted DNO fuse puller would have been a great video to make. Here I am just checking that the board is in fact dead. Um, I didn't use a proving unit because I'd already tested the voltage indicator on a known 
saw so we knew that was working fine and once I clarified that the power was dead it was time to remove this switch. Okay. Oh yeah, that smells burnt. So what we've got, let's see, it looks like a sign of overheating in there. I mean that smells burnt. It's a bit of... Now I'll get some... Across the line, neutral, yes, set up the line. So, let's see if I've got a switch on my van. The one thing I've just noticed is that Hager breaker there. It's the first time, according to customer and the board itself, it's got two showers. Which I would say it's not ideal. It's got sockets, art extension, sockets are emergency heater cooker, plus the cooker. Cooker 32. Yeah, so that is not good. Okay, and we've also got this little adaptation there, so we'll look at that. Oh, nice, look at this. <coughs> We've only got a cheeky little thing poking out there, <laughs> one of the strands of the cable. Cable <coughs> tight. Mm -hmm. Possibly. It's not good though, is it? Yeah, so we've got that. Beautiful thing there. Lovely. Got that there. Lovely. We've only got two showers. I'm going to take the showers out and we'll see if I can get a main switch first. So I'll just push the board cover over to the cutout and service head because I'm just paranoid about leaving it open. And I've not got any of the plastic bungs, but there's no children there. Just the one person at the moment, so I'll just tell her what I'm going to do. Let's have a little main switch. So, let's see if the Luden switch will fit in this board. I've just noticed, looking at that, that's been squashed down on the. Oh, there we go. That'd be the reason why. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, that's melted. That's definitely melted. Right. Need to put the old one back on. Put it on into it. Sorry. Now that fits. I'll nip it up and then I'll talk it shortly after. So, to 
get to the earth. I can't really get my screwdriver into it, it's the garage door, so that's going to have to be a stubby screwdriver job. Not a torque screwdriver. Okay. First things first. Too far. I can never do that. One benefit of recording everything is that you don't have to write it down on bits of paper. You actually forget what your readings were. At. Check at half, 33.3. Okay, so we're well within. And if we do the other one, our CD button works. Four point seven on zero degree, thirty four on three degree at one inch degree. Okay, so we're well within. What a word there just for me and curiosity. I'll do a ramp test. Twenty five milliamps. Reasonably good. Five more consistent at least. Right then, so let's do something else. Cool, so we've got power, I think it's on. <laughs> got any gaps there because there's not the right breakers in there. It's rubbish. It is what it is. We've got Two showers. <laughs> okay, so that's that. So that is me done at 3.51. I'm not actually sure what time I came out, um, but I can look on service, mate. Yeah, so that, that board was, it wasn't the worst I've ever seen, but yeah, it wasn't the best, that's for sure. So. I basically told the client having two char uh, two showers on one fuse box, certainly on one RCD, isn't great. Um, she's asked me to quote for a priority board, but I'm not sure if she'll go ahead with that. But yeah, the, the tails have clamped down on the plastic, so I think that's just been a build up over years and years and years, and it's finally just given up, giving up hope. <laughs> a bit like me today. But... So. 
pretty easy. I just stuck in a Luden main switch because I didn't have anything else and I can't source one of the same brand locally. But dimensions wise, identical, 100 amp, fit perfect, no problems whatsoever. So I've got no concerns there. Um, my main concerns with that board was the incorrect breakers in there, which was pushing up on the plastic and on the buzz bars. Tightened all the terminals, done a ZE, which turned out fine. RCD testing turned out fine. But yeah, I've never really had that before on a main switch. Uh, I've, I've had like main, people have said about smells and the lights when they put the oven on the lights at the end and things like that. Um, which I've found loose connections before in the fuse box, but I've never actually found one that's stopped working. So that was kind of a cool find, really. A bit, a bit different. Now it's Sunday, and I think I've earned a beer. And I'm going to have a brew dog IPA because that's my go to. And I don't drink in the week, so. I'm going to make most of my weekend now. Actually, I've got to see what wifey wants me to do because I doubt she'll have something for me. Yeah, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope it's been of some use to someone. I quite enjoy documenting these kind of things. I've just got to get better at asking permission to record and things like that, then I can go in. Perhaps had the camera strapped to my chest, but hope you enjoyed it. As always, please, please, please like and subscribe to the channel. It makes a huge difference to us. It really does. Um, if you do like the content, hit subscribe and we'll keep on making it. Right, catch you later. Bye.